Rob, we're back at the shop. Monday morning. We got the Ford Backo in here. Let's see what Mike's been doing. We had a hose. You can see. Can you see? Way down in there, go back. Good. He was mad because it broke right in the middle of a mud hole. If you can see where the mud's at. And he changed the oil. And we got these two big old cylinders rebuilt. Both sides. They were pouring like a sieve. Y'all know what a sieve is? Especially this one on this side. But 550 something dollars later, they're sealed. What do you think, Mike? I don't know. You got a cigarette lit. Yep, he's got the cigarette lit, no gas. Going back together like it's supposed to. Yeah. And we got to work on this. We're still working on the dark. You can see it sitting there. A lot of folks have been watching that, but we got to fix this uh, uh, voltage gauge on this thing. We're losing power on the inside of the car. And we got to work on the carburetor just a little bit. We got the tires on it. I'll just kind of show you. See all the stuff piled up because we don't always get to work. On the dark, you see where we got all our junk out trying to figure out what was wrong with it. I've never run into that, but uh, obviously it's it's pretty common, they say. But I've drove these old Mopars for years and years. And never had any problem. But anyway, we got to, I got this thing fixed. Don't you think, Mike? I think I think you might get one more, one more toke out of that. Huh? So that's kind of where we're at there. We had trouble with the, uh, let me show you this too. We had trouble with the, these, if y'all remember the, there's a brand new alternator on it, but anyway, had trouble with the, all the power steering pulleys and all that stuff was rotted plumb off this thing from sitting in the mud. And we ordered this one, only one I could find, and it just don't line up exactly. You see, that's kind of awesome. We're gonna have to do something on that. But other than that, this thing's about ready to go. And more projects. Logan's got his go-kart over here. That brand new motor. I'm gonna try to get this thing painted up and all that good stuff. So we got a lot going on. Down on the wood, of course we're about done with the wood. But that's an update on the Phillips Run Drip and Bubble Company. We ain't bubble company in it today. Or tractor company. It's a Ford 555B backhoe. This is something kind of sad. We the hose went out on this thing. I went to the get a hose made for it. Couldn't find one whatsoever. They discontinued the fitting that we needed because the tractor is so old. New EPA regulations say after so many years they need to quit making parts for these things where you have to buy new ones. But luckily, I went to uh, Napa and Blairsville. They say. Don't worry, we can fix you right up. So they fix us a hose and hopefully we'll be back at it and maybe loading some more scrap up and digging up some trees. You not got that yet, Mike? Bye. I think you need a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs>